construct a pivot block in third angle orthographic projection all right so the direction of the circle of radius 20 yeah is going to be our end view all right so to draw the plan we are going to take note that towards our left hand side yeah from the center of the first circle to the center of the second circle is what is 80 why the radius of each of those uh circles are what are 20 the, the radius are 12 why the diameter is 24 so 80 plus 24 is what is 104 so towards this line i'm going to measure 104 millimeters okay so this is 104 millimeters all right having done that i'm going to uh measure 12 yeah 12 millimeters from that top there then from the bottom here also i'm also going to measure what 12 millimeters i haven't done that i'm going to get the midpoint of that length of uh 104 and length half of 104 is what is 52 so here is 52 all right so i haven't done that i'm going to project them horizontally all right i haven't projected them horizontally from this line here, i am measuring 12 inwards 12 mm inwards which is this then on this one also i am measuring uh 12 mm inwards which is this okay and uh from uh this portion here yeah from this portion here, from the edge here, the distance to the beginning of this web here is what is 20. so i'm going to measure 20 mark 20 then the width of that web is what is 40. this is mark 40. And I was told that from the center of the first circle here, which is this, so to the center of the second circle is what is 75. Okay, so I'm measuring 75 now. And that's max 75. And I'm going to project them vertically. Okay, so and the radius of that particular uh, channel here, yeah, is radius 20. Okay, so I'm going to do that also. Radius 20. And diameter is what? 40. And I'm going to project that horizontally. And we are told that the diameter of the circle inside this web here is diameter 20. Diameter 20. So I'm going to do that now. So I'm going to measure 20, in diameter 20, which is radius 10 towards the top and bottom. So I'm also going to root that horizontally. Okay, so I haven't done that. Let me bring out uh that's our web all right so that particular web this it here yeah i'm bringing it out now all right so the circle inside it it's going to be what eating so with my thin line All right, I haven't done that. So I pick my compass, measure radius 12, all right? Then on this point, I'm going to draw uh, my circles, all right? So on this point also, yeah, our circle here also. All right, then I'm going to also measure radius 6 because we are told that the circle, the, the diameter of the uh, hole is diameter 12 so that's radio 6 so with the radio 6 i'm drawing okay so i haven't done that i'm going to project the diameter of each of those circles both vertically and horizontally all right All right so having done that i'm going to uh, complete uh, this plan now and the other height of our front view is 57 57 so i'm going to measure that now 57 mark 57 and from the bottom i'm going to measure 
Mark 15, Mark 12, first of all. After Mark 12, I'm measuring Mark 15. After Mark 15, I am measuring from Mark 15, I am measuring 22. Mark 22. So right. these are Mark 22. Then I'm going to project all those points out horizontally. Horizontally. Okay, these are the points projected horizontally. Start developing our front view. So this area is going to be drawn with thick line. Yeah, thick line. Then this portion will be thick also. This portion will be thick up to this level here. This one will be hidden. While this area also will be hidden. Alright, so going to take in this top here. Alright. So likewise I'm doing the same thing here. This area will be taken. This area will be hidden. And this area will also be hidden. And this area will also be what? Thickened. And this area will be what? Thickened up to this level here. Alright, then uh, this junction will also be thickened. Alright. Then let's develop that web of us which was actually this so this is the point here I'm carrying it from here now downwards okay so this is the second part here downwards also then i'm going to what taking it so remember there is our circle here all right so it's going to be hidden so from this area also we are going to represent our circle diameter 20 all right, I'm measuring radius 10 towards the top, radius 10 towards the bottom, and I'm going to project it out horizontally. That I don't need to start measuring, and I want to draw the other views. All right, so I draw them in advance. So this area will be what hidden view, yeah, it should be hidden. Okay, I haven't done that. I think our front view is also perfect. So to get our end view now, so from the midpoint of this projected line here, from the midpoint here, okay. So I'm going to draw a line at angle 45 degree from this midpoint, which is here. Here, 45, 45 degrees. So that line is drawn at angle 45 degrees. So then every of the diameter of my circle here, yeah, I'm going to project it horizontally. Horizontally, okay. Horizontally. So from the point where it touches this line of five degree, I'm going to project them downwards vertically. All right, for every line that touches this one here, vertically. So vertically, vertically. Right. Okay. So after projecting vertically, next thing is to start developing my end view. So uh, this bottom here will be thick all through. Thick all through, so this area will be thick to this level, taking to that level. Straight, this area will be hidden, hidden, and taking towards this area. Likewise, this area also taking towards the hidden. Hidden and thickened also. Then I'm going to thicken this area also. Then also I will be thickening this point also. Yeah. Just ignore our uh, the radius of the fillet that are there. Ignore them. All right. So you don't need them there, except if you are drawing with with a computer. All right. So ignore the radius of the fillet because just ignore them. Represent them with what with a straight line. 
all right so we take note that this area here so it's going to be hidden also and for this first turn this is it here yeah and this is it here so tracing them downward i'm going to represent them with what hidden line and hidden line all right so and uh the head the head of that particular area which is okay for that edge which is bigger this thing this is the line so it is also going to be what hidden throughout all right and for this second part which is here this line also it will be hidden also then throughout it is going to be what it's going to be hidden So the next thing is to locate the center, yeah, the midpoint. So this center line, this is it here, and the center line that comes from here, all right. So this is it here. This is it here. So here you intersect, they intersect at this junction here. So from this junction, pick your compass, measure radius 20, all right. Place it right here and what and draw. Okay. Draw. Then also with your compass, measure radius 10. Measure radius 10 with radius 10 also produce a complete circle. Okay, after doing that, then pick your ruler and join them towards the bottom here. All right, towards the bottom here. Okay, so this is also the complete end view of uh, the pivot block. So kindly ensure you subscribe to this YouTube channel and also the fire to your friends who might be in the of it. Thank you.